Hi, Maria. Great to see you. Hi, pleasure to see you. <laughs> so, okay, at what point during the filming of this Borat film, during which scene did you think to yourself, I'm going to get an Oscar nomination for this performance? I don't think I've thought about that at all. I mean, I was super <laughs> scared. Am I going to ruin the movie? Because Sasha is one of a kind. And he giving me this platform, I was like, I should work really hard to not disappoint him, to not ruin it, because Borat is already extremely established character and it has its own audience. And now bringing me a female character, a daughter, right next to Borat, while well, he is like one of a kind, it was it was really really challenging. I've never told that there is gonna be a nomination. I was like, please let's have this scene. Please let's have this scene. Um, <clears throat> but it's been for the movie and for the cause, if that's the way to say it. Yeah, it's um, obviously when you're playing a character, you don't have to play someone just like you. You can play any type of person that's like you or not like you. But what was your way in to? playing her, what was the, the point at which you felt like there was something you could relate to in her? Oh, I think I can relate to a lot of things of Tuta because we all can. Because she just has this huge heart and these big dreams um, that she want to be something. She She's going to be the first one who's going to reject the system. She's going to break the rules and she's going to be, no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm going to be something else. I'm going to be the first one, maybe. But just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it's not going to start happening now. Um, so maybe that's something that I will relate to. Of course, she is much more naive than me and probably less educated because she never had a chance. But the moment when she's getting there to the United States and the moment when she meets her fairy godmother, the amazing Janice Jones, she's learning everything really fast, actually. And she's really intuitive, if that's the way to say it. Um, but maybe I relate to, to the idea of, for me, as an actress from Eastern Europe, it's always been like Hollywood is too far away. There is not another name like mine finishing like Kaluba. Um, and for Tuta, she is this girl from this made up place that dreams to be a journalist probably and to be appreciated just the way she is. But she told that could never happen. Um, and we both had a success somehow, I don't know, just by following your dreams and believing that it's going to happen. Uh, because if you believe in your dreams, of course, if you work hard and you've been disciplined, you should dare to achieve your dreams and hopefully it's going to happen. Because oh. why not? The the whole sequence with Rudy Giuliani took on a life of its own, of course, and you've been asked about it numerous times and everybody wants to talk about it. Riz wanted to ask about it, so I'm asking for him. <laughs> um, I also want to know too. Uh, did that scene feel as important in the filming of it as it ended up being? I would imagine, yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's been because ever since my first audition um, in person, I had a conversation with the producer, Monica Levinson, who I admire, with Anthony Hines, the writer, with Jason Wollner, the director, and Sasha as well, that there is going to be a scene where I'm going to meet somebody that is really powerful. Am I going to be capable to do it? Somebody that it might be a political person. And because for me, not being American, I was like, okay, let's sure, let's do it. Not thinking about the consequences after that. Um, so maybe I should, I didn't appreciate the idea of that this will affect some things that much. Uh, for me, it was just about the humanity. Uh, it didn't matter. Is it going to be a politician or just a normal human being, normal person? Um, just the way that he's treating people, women specifically, because. What if I was a male journalist? What if he'd been tapping my waist or um, laying on the bedroom with a glass of um, whiskey? So maybe these things, I didn't, did not thought about the idea that it's gonna be that big of an impact, but I knew that it is important. And for me as an actor, it was my duty to, to be as <laughs> convincing as possible just to have usable footage and to have it in the movie because I already had the scenes with Janice Jones and Judith, the Holocaust survivor. So we needed that scene with him. Right. Where would you say your fearlessness comes from? That's the, anyone who watches your performance, that's a word that people use. Are, did you surprise yourself even? 
Um, I don't know, really. I've been too disciplined as a child. I've been going to two schools, working hard ever since I was 12 years old. So when I decided that I wanted to be an actress, I was like, okay, this is going to allow me to explore more things and to run away from reality and go even to the moon or to Macondo around these yellow butterflies. Um, and also as well, um, we're living such a short period of time on this earth, so you should take the risk somehow. I don't know, if you jump, you might start flying, who knows? You might fall, but you might fall on the ground while you're walking. You should, you should do it because when you're nervous about something means that you're passionate about something. If you're passionate about something, it means that you care about something. So do it. Just risk for it. That's Go for it. And don't care that much, maybe. Think before you do something, That's... but you have, if you have the feeling that you, you want to do this, do it. And be brave. That's great. Good for you. I, and I just love that. I mean, comedy gets so rarely rewarded at the Academy Awards. So to see you have uh, all this acclaim uh, is just a thrill. So Maria Akalava, thank you so much. And we'll see you in a few minutes.